Hey Hillbilly gang, this is Hillbilly the Mouse Man here coming at you with another mouse review and today we're going to be going over the HyperX Pulsefire Haste Wireless. And my two questions of the day is one, is this a budget friendly mouse? And two, is the wired version a budget friendly mouse? So first we're going to go over what you get in the box. You get the USB-C cord, which was nice, they didn't go micro. You get your receiver and dongle, which I like because it's a circle instead of a rectangle. And you get your grips and you get your extra feet. I did, I've did. i lost my feet, I don't know where they are. So, okay, and of course you get your mouse. So, the mouse is the exact same as the wired version. The only difference is they added two grams, cut the cord, and they added this dongle storage right here, which is pretty cool. I actually really like that. It's probably my favorite dongle storage on any wireless mouse. And then right here, you got this small on and off button. It does not have Bluetooth. It is just 2.4 gigahertz wireless. And you get your same switches, which are the TTC Gold switches. They feel the exact same as the wired version. The scroll wheel feels the exact same, saying that's the only RGB on the mouse. And you still get your 3335 sensor. So let's get into this, man. So for 80 bucks, 79.99 MSRP, is it worth it? In my opinion, this mouse is only worth it if you already have a haste and you like it and you want to upgrade to wireless, you want to get into the wireless gaming field. And at that point, the, I have had no problem with the wireless connectivity, really haven't had any problems with the sensor, haven't really had any problems with the uh, click latency on the buttons, nothing. So if you have a wired version, I would get the wireless version. But as far as for $80 for this wireless version, and you haven't tried this shape, don't know if you like it, there are so many shapes similar to this mouse that are the same price or just a little bit higher and maybe a little cheaper. So let's get into it. So first you get the Glorious Model O, which is a little bit longer, but it's the same width. I mean, pretty much same hump style, 80 bucks. Uh, you got the Viper Ultimate, which is the exact same, a little bit longer, same hump style. And with the dock, I believe you can get it for $89.99 right now on Amazon. And then just the mouse, I think you can get it for around $69.99. So if you don't want the dock, I mean, it's almost cheaper than this mouse. If you want the dock, which I would recommend, because I love the dock for my Razer mice, like the Death Adder, um, it's 90 bucks. And at that point, I mean, this mouse has no room in the mouse market right now. I mean, the buttons need to be upgraded. The sensor needs to be upgraded. They should at least put a 3360 or a 3370 on this mouse. Hands down, period. There's no reason to increase a mouse to $80 and not give it no upgrades besides wireless connectivity. Uh, just like when Glorious had the Model O and Model D, they had the 3389s and I think Kill 50s. Not Kill 50s, Omron 50s. And when the wireless versions came out, they had Kill 8.0s and the 3370 BAMP sensor. I mean, you can't beat that for 80 bucks. This mouse, on the other hand, it's like they're trying to cheapskate out and be like, here, this is our only flagship mouse we're going to make because all our other mouses are junk and it's going to be $80. I mean, at this point, honestly, in my opinion, for $80, I'd rather put 70 more with it and get a G Pro Superlight because you can get them, I think, around $141 right now and you can get a refurb one for like $128, which is way better deal than this in my personal opinion. These other mouses will last you longer and you'll get better performance out of them. Like I said, I had no problem with the wireless performance of this mouse, but the sensor performance, I, I never had no spin outs or anything, but I feel like the 3335 versus like the 3070 or the hero sensor or the focus sensor, I feel like there's a better clarity when you're moving the mouse around. I feel like it's more smooth. I mean, I play a fast paced games. I play Apex, Fortnite. I don't play slow games. So I feel like in fast place games, you get like a more clear motion. Um, and even when it comes to the wired haste, I mean, at $50, I think it goes on sale for $44.99. I mean, there's just so many better options. I mean, you have the Viper Mini and the Viper 8K. I think the Viper Mini is like $30 and the Viper 8K sits around $49.99 on sale. You got the uh, wired Model O. It's around $49.99 on Amazon. So I mean, I don't even think the wired version for what it's packing is worth that kind of money. So I just feel like HyperX needs to update this mouse. Now, if they put a 3060, 3070, 3389 
with kale 4.0s kale 8.0s at 80 bucks i mean this mouse is a steal i mean this this mouse will probably be one of the best mouses on the market but alas they didn't so i mean that's about wraps it up for me in this review uh i hope to catch y'all in the next one man i hope you'll have a good night or good day depending on what time you're watching this and god bless and i again i'll catch you in the next one